Hello everyone, um, welcome to my latest Yankee Candle video. I have a new webcam and a slightly new setup, so um, if you can, there's a tiny bit of background noise on this, hopefully it's not too irritating, I can't figure out noise reduction software and stuff. But anyway, here to look at my Halloween collection um, today, and I'm going to whisk through what I've got so far. first one I'm going to pull out for you is called Trick or Treat. Uh, Trick or Treat, as you can see, has got a holographic um, label on it. I uh, picked this one up last year. It's a mix, It's a swirl candle. It's a mixture of buttercream and candy corn. It smells absolutely delightful. I'll talk about the buttercream first because we'll come on to candy corn in a minute. Uh, buttercream is like a delicious, rich, creamy stuff that you shove inside a cake. It's really nice and it goes well with candy corn all about the sweet fun of Halloween and it's definitely more treat than trick let's say that. Next one is Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween again I picked this one up last year for the first time didn't know what it smelled like but the picture won me over. Happy Halloween is a uh, full-on aniseed if you remember if you're from the UK uh, blackjack sweets it's exactly like that Again, it's a sharp candy treat. It was good fun. I burnt this on Halloween night last year. Happy Halloween. And the next one is candy corn. And there we go. This one I picked up a couple of years ago. It's got a. It's been redesigned since then, but this jar I think is absolutely fab. I love candy corn. Burn it all year round. Um, it's sweet. It's it's sweet, it's caramelly, I don't know if there's a hint of butterscotch in there, but it's that little blend of sweet, but not so sweet. It's uh, really lovely. Uh, for me, this is probably my favourite Halloween scent. I just love it, burn it all uh, all year round, um, but it's great for the Halloween season too. Uh, really reminds you of handing out sweets and stuff and going to autumn carnivals and things like that. Next two are both Witch's Brew. This one is a, another one with a holographic label that I picked up this year, basically just because, I didn't get this right, you just can't get enough witches brew, basically. And this is the one that we kind of burn. This is the, again, matches the candy corn one, the limited edition from a couple of years ago. You can still get witches brew, of course. And witches brew, it's full on patchouli. Uh, old rockers all know what patchouli is. It's quite a hippie-ish almost kind of incense but I don't like incense at all, so it's not like, not totally like incense, but you know that kind of room fragrancy, spicy, sharp, uh, decadent kind of flavour. It's perfect for uh, watching horror films with and stuff like that. Love Witches Brew, love it to death. And finally, last but definitely not least, it's Ghostly Treats. It's a brand new one, just got into the stores in the USA and in the UK. Uh, you should be finding it. It's coming out in all formats, so you can get it in tarts and votives and stuff as well. Um, beautiful jar design covered in ghosts and spooky stuff. And the smell is... I pick up something different every time I smell this. It's supposed to be like straightforward marshmallow, but there's all sorts of stuff in there. I can definitely pick up, the more I smell it, uh, kind of peppery notes, which might sound a bit bizarre but almost like kind of white pepper on top of the marshmallow and it's definitely got a hint of mint in there too so again it's all about sweets with a little bit of autumn sharpness in there and looking forward to all the fun of Halloween night so that's my uh, collection um, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon